Today is going to be out of this world. You and I till the end, don't be too pretend. Welcome Your Highnesses, I'm Dan and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us for day number three of our vlog series. We are currently up, it is quarter past seven in the morning. We're up bright and early, already dressed in Gasparilla Island Grill. We've just had a coffee and a croissant and the reason we are up so early today is because we are going on a 10 hour mission to Kennedy Space Center. Now we booked a tour. I will put the details of the tour for you down below. We booked a tour, uh, a VIP, of course, um, small group tour. We're going with Leanne and Dow. They're already here in reception. We're gonna meet them in a, in a couple of moments. Uh, and then we're being picked up, taken to Kennedy Space Center. We've got some time to go and look around. I think we're going out to see the launch pads as well as part of the tour. The tour we've booked does include lunch as well. And then once we've done that, they're gonna bring us back and hopefully drop us at Disney Springs where we're gonna be meeting Taylor and Jackie from WDWAO. They're flying in today um, for dinner at Wine Bar George. And of course, because Taylor's coming, there will definitely be drinks involved. That girl, she is well, you know, you, you've seen the mess, right? This is something really new for us today. Um, this was actually David's idea. Um, he asked to go to Kennedy Space Center. It's probably something I wouldn't have thought about doing, but having booked it, I'm really, really excited to do it. We'll tell you at the end of the day when we think it was worth it or not. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go to Kennedy Space Center. I'm super excited for this. I just think it's gonna be amazing. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. What else do you wanna know? <laughs> Tell me something. Are you still drunk from last night? I wasn't even drunk last night, so this must have been a uh, previous night. <laughs> oh. So you're actually taking us into space today, right? Say that again? You're taking us into space today? Yeah, space center. <laughs> no, 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 into space. Oh, into the space? Um, if you like, I can make an arrangement. Oh. But I... So we just got picked up, giving us a little breakfast. City car car is back on the bus, so here she comes. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I do. Hi, yeah, Titi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Leanne in the back over there. I've got sitting behind her over there. And we're all on the mini bus to Kennedy's face in there. And Leanne looks so tired today. Very tired. This is actually what TV cameras will show you, um, it's the actual clock. That's very, very cool. Cause I have actually seen this on the TV myself before. So yeah, we're actually right here where the countdown takes place. We were picked up at what, half past seven? Very it's efficient. It's now five past nine and we're walking up to kind of go in. So these are quite cool. These are ticket booths where you can buy your tickets if you don't have them already. Sleeping in space. Yeah. 
Which one would you say is the best? Red planet. The red planet is the best one? Yes. So as part of the VIP tour we booked, we're doing something called the Kennedy Space Center Explore Tour. It's not included in normal entry here. It's like an extra add-on you can pay for. Um, but this will take us out to the launch pad to actually let us outside of the bus to go get some photos and stuff. So I'm really excited. This is the thing I've been most looking forward to. Let's see how this goes. The journey starts here. It's interesting how we we stack our rockets in the vehicle assembly building. There's a service structure on a platform. The platform sits on six pedestals. It sits about 20 feet in the air. I want you to try and find a walk-through door on the ground level just to give you an idea of perspective of how big this building is. You can see one up on top where the Artemis logo is, but that flag right there is 210 feet long. It's 110 feet wide. The star field itself is as big as an NBA basketball court or 96 feet by 46 feet. The NASA logo itself and the flag are the two largest painted structures of those two symbols in the world. Now we are coming up to our first stop. We're gonna have three stops like I mentioned earlier. The first stop over here is called the LC39 Gantry. Now we will be here for about 15 minutes. That is United Launch Alliance Pad 41. This is where they're going to launch the Kuiper satellite for Blue Origin on Friday. But this is Pad 39A. This is the one that launched every single Saturn V rocket <coughs> that put men on the moon. Like I was pointing out on, on the gantry, you can see that service arm on the top that goes, uh, that's white with the black end on the left. That's where the crew walks through to get into the Dragon capsule. So we've just been out the gantry, I think at 39A, um, where we got a quite a good panoramic view of all the launch pads. And now we are at one of the viewing areas um, where you can actually watch the launches from. It was actually a launch tonight. Um, 30, I think we're going to try and watch it from Orlando. Would you like being up by the launch pad? This is the firing room, launch control for the Apollo missions. This is not a mock-up. These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. Ten, nine, the ignition sequence start. The engines are on. Four, three.
look at the sheer size of this. It puts things into perspective a little bit, doesn't it? Today's been a really, really interesting day so far. Like, full of moments to reflect and just how insignificant we actually really are. In the grand scheme of things. Speaking of insignificant, this one is super duper significant. Look at him. Yeah, you turned that one around quickly, didn't you? <laughs> For your sake. <laughs> Did I take a brave pill this morning? Little button. Was I wearing my brave pants? Darling, you were swimming with sharks there, I'm telling you. <laughs> She's quite a cool thing to have to do, isn't it, really? Is that it? No. Oh, is this what we can touch? Leanne, this is a piece of old tiling. Leanne, bathroom, isn't it? Leanne, the police have told you many times that you can look, but you must not touch. Jeez. It's very cosy in there, isn't it, boys? We've got Alan Shepard's actual space suit. How cool is that? When you get in your space suit. This looks like shite, doesn't it? Yeah. How much is that hoodie, David? Thirty-four ninety-nine or something. Gonna buy it? Maybe. Shall I? Yeah, you look cute in that. Okay, so we've just had lunch over at the Orbit Cafe uh, here at Kennedy Space Centre. So, I'll give you a little update on our day so far. So, what have we done so far today? We went and saw the. Um, Rocket we did the garden. simulator thing, the rocket garden. Then we did the simulator to Mars, which was a little bit like soaring at Epcot. Um, that was alright, wasn't it? Nothing amazing, but it was it was alright. Then we did our um, Explorer tour, uh, which has been the best thing we've done today. So if you come here, it's twenty-five dollars more to do that tour, uh, and a hundred percent worthwhile, isn't it? it? Takes you out to see the launch pad, the uh, great big massive building. It's the tallest single story building in the world what do they call it where it's they called, build is it called the, the vehicle assembly vehicle assembly unit or something something like that i'll put what it's called on the screen for you we can't remember um it took us out there it took us to the launch pads it took us to an observation gantry where we climbed up to the top and have a look out uh, we can actually see a rocket that's going to be going up tonight. tonight weather today is a little bit changeable it's really sunny and nice one minute and then it's pouring with rain the next but the rain only lasts kind of 10 minutes and it's gone it's, everything's drying up again so uh, a little bit unpredictable today but that's florida for you um lunch not good is it really um some bad burgers and some nice chips yeah so as part of the tour we got a $15 voucher to spend on lunch. I had a buffalo chicken burger that had no buffalo taste to it at all. You had a pulled pork burger, how was that? It, it wasn't great if I'm honest. Yeah, it was kind of the lower end of theme park food. It wasn't brilliant uh, and now we are going to go and uh, do an experience where you get to um, hear the experience of a real astronaut and um, we get an opportunity to ask him some questions so we're going to do that now aren't we yeah we are what was i just telling you about the weather it was absolutely beautiful sunny the floor was drying up two minutes have passed since i last spoke to you and look it's pouring down and he's with us today to share his remarkable perspective on all this history ladies and gentlemen please welcome astronaut bob Dirk. Thank you to you for uh, joining me this afternoon. 
I'm always thrilled to uh, meet with people who are interested in exploration and also with space development, uh, just like me as, as well. So we're kindred spirits. Okay, we are fresh out of a live talk with a real astronaut, Robert Fersk who uh, is a Canadian astronaut who spent six months on board the International Space Station and he just spent probably the best part of about 45 minutes talking to us about life on board an International Space Station, about launching into space, about his return, some of the challenges, what he did whilst he was there. What an inspirational person. I was captivated by him. I couldn't stop listening to what he was saying. Um, even though I'm a bit tired and want to sleep, uh, he properly held my attention the whole time. So if you come here, they have a astronaut twice a day doing a talk. Make time to come and see them um, and, and hear their story. It was really good. Now we are going to see the Atlantis, I believe it's called. NASA had three space shuttles that they used for their space shuttle program. He was telling us. Right. And one is in... Los Angeles, the other one is somewhere else, and the other one is here. So this is what we're going to see, they've got the actual one on display. So here. this is the actual space shuttle? Yeah. We're going to see the shuttle, darling. We're going to see the shuttle, darling. Or the shuttle, as they would say, from up north. Now, so what are we going to see? Space shuttle. 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 And how do I say it? Cups. No, no, how do I say this? Oh, shuttle. Shuttle. Cups. Shuttle. <laughs> What did you think of the Atlantis? Very cool. It's a shuttle. It's a shuttle. It's a shuttle. Yes. Shuttle. Shuttle. It's the shuttle. Shuttle. Are you glad we came to Kennedy today? Yeah, you? Yeah. It's like new to me, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so we are now back from Kennedy Space Center. We've just been dropped off at Disney Springs, our lovely um, tour guide and driver Oscar um, agreed to drop us off at Disney Springs rather than take us back to the Grand Floridian for us then to get a bus back to Disney Springs. So that was really, really helpful. So we're now at Disney Springs. Um, let me just tell you about that tour we did. I'm going to link it for you down below. I think it was really, really worth the money that we paid for it. Uh, ultimately, we could have just got a car and driven ourselves there or got an Uber there, but we chose to do the tour and we paid about $210 each for that tour. It was £175. Today's exchange rate is about $210 each. Quite a lot of money. But if you think about it, the um, initially, it would have cost $75 entry to get in, plus $25 for the tour we did, and then $15 for the for lunch we got, for uh, the lunch voucher we got. So. It was a kind of $115 worth of stuff before we got the return journey on the minibus. You could do it cheaper, but it was convenient. The guy was really good. He told us loads and loads of information on the way. So I would definitely recommend it. I'll find out what David thinks a little bit later on for you. Uh, but we're now at Disney Springs. We're going to be meeting Taylor and Jackie. So they're already here. So we're just going to go into Disney Springs. And then once we've been out with them, uh, we're going to go for dinner at Wine Bar George, which I'm really, really excited about. So I can't wait for that. Ah! 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, do you, do your thing. <laughs> I'll leave. I'll leave. Do your thing. We so, interrupted. So, so we were just about to get David's view of Kennedy, and we were joined by these two lovely ladies. I was just talking to you about Taylor. How many drinks have you had so far? Only one. No way. Well, I had some earlier, but only one since I've come to Disney Springs. And it was only so, a beer. So how many in total Springs. have you had? Three. Is that it? Yeah. That's not like you. No. you you've changed. I know. <laughs> it happens. Changed. It happens. You look shorter. What? <laughs> you mean less pregnant? Because I'm less pregnant. <laughs> yeah, you're less pregnant, but you're also shorter. Wait, wait, am I on a downhill? I was just <laughs> telling I was telling Leanne yesterday that you're like a giant. I was like, she's a giant. Well, yeah, I was like 40 pounds heavier when we met me. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, hey. it's our first time meeting you. I know. It's, <laughs> it's been a long day. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been about six years it's taken, but we finally oh, did it. Oh, I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> I'm in turmoil with the bubble. Right, I was not lying to you, she was a giant last time I met her. He was describing you to be like this. <laughs> I said I was 40 pounds heavier, but I, I'm not a giant. <laughs> Munchlings, they're like um, they're like a variation on the characters. Now that one there is Baymax. That's gonna be Mini, is it? Yeah. Nice Munchling Mini. How much is Stitch? It's not price. I think it's down here. Thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars for a Munchling? Do you want one? No. Oh, that's obvious. Mike. Mike. So what have they done? Have they kind of mixed Disney characters with food to make them munchlings? Do you want a munchling? Taylor, do you want a munchling? No, thank you! I'd like a margarita, please! Do you know what a munchling is? Yeah, there are these weird um, stuffed food characters. Yeah, we're trying to work them out. Like, we've never seen them before now. They, they smell. They smell? Some of them, I think they are scented to the food that they... Oh, do we have a sniff? Well, I don't know if like the giant ones are, but they, I think like the packs. Oh. Like... That doesn't smell. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There were some that they smelled when they first came out. Oh. And uh, people would do cheat. You ha do you have any? Sniff them. No. Does Miles want a munch thing? No. No. <laughs> So we've now finished in the Christmas shop and in Disney Springs and we're now in Jock Lindsay's hangar bar. Uh, all of six of us are together, which is wonderful. We've got Jackie, Taylor, Leanne, Dale, and little David there, of course. Um, we all just ordered our drinks. That's what his family call him. Little Hello. one, don't they? Because he's the baby and they call him Wiener as all well. All right, come on, tell him about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Wiener. Uh, so we've just ordered our drinks, of course when they come we will tell you how good they are. Taylor's been here before, so has Jackie, and I've taken Taylor's recommendation on what I'm having, so... Um, but to be fair, she's a percent, so she loves everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the piece of dance. <laughs> Ooh, I like You want to hear sake? Mm -hmm. The dining bell is completely a sealed container. As you know, we have portholes, but they are still sealed. Now, everyone must learn this phrase. Repeat it back to me. Do not panic. Do not panic. If you see a little bit of water on the floor, do, do not, not panic. panic. If it gets to the table, please still, do not panic. If it gets to the top of the cushion, 
By all means. Panic. Do, do, no. <laughs> do okay, not. So panic. one person got it. <laughs> By all means. Pet panic. Put, put please, 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 please. <laughs> panic in an organized manner. What have you got, Titi? Fountain of youth. You know, for my youthful look. Fountain of youth. Oh yeah, Leanne's celebrating her 30th birthday on this trip. Weekend here. Oh, oh, Where are we going now? Vino bar a Jorge. I am in English. Cup of Dutch. Wine bar, wine bar George. 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 <laughs> Can I just say it in Northern? Wine bar George. Wine bar George. Wine bar George. Wine bar George. <laughs> Mark George, and we're gonna drink <laughs> <laughs> and eat as well. And I eat, hope. and eat, and eat. <laughs> we're in the uh, space station today in the gift shop, and we're up on like this balcony. Oh, yeah, and Leanne's downstairs, and he's going, Titty, Titty, <laughs> and she's going, <laughs> <laughs> So, I have got the Frascato made with Dole Whip pineapple, it's Moscato, vodka, and pineapple. Give this a try. You have to give that a really good suck to get it out. I really want to say something How is it? You got this? It's really good. I think Jack, Dan, Dan's Jack, all Jack over it. being naughty. Taylor's on the bubbles. Always. <laughs> She's such a lush. That's me. Thank you so much. How is it? It's lovely. <laughs> Leanne, what do you think of the frascato? Entirely different story to you. It's delightful. Mother, what is this? <laughs> Try to be a lady. I don't want to be a lady. I don't want to be a lady. I know how though. <laughs> there she goes. She's going in. No idea. Oh, that's good. No, it's whiskey. See how she's down there? It's not a shot, Jackie. What? It's not a shot. I did think it was a shot. I sipped. I sipped. <laughs> Delicious balls. You like them? Yeah. If you move this one, you're not going to be out of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> We got round two coming right away. <laughs> if you touch that cast iron, it will burn you. <laughs> I do recommend you sign not while it's so hot. When it gets cold, it gets super dense. It's kind of rubbery. It's not as funny. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. This is the olive oil cake, which is my favorite dessert in all of Disney. It is cake made with olive oil, would be a shock, but then it has candied olives and handmade whipped cream on it. It is so weird and so good, not too sweet. You pick. It is, it is really unique, and I really think if you come to Wine Bar George, you have to get it. It is, it is like my staple dessert in Disney. Oh no, um, I like it. It's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. Are you gonna make this in your back to South Bend? I will try. It's, it's really good. It's a little bit savory. Like it's a, a savory. little bit of lemon. Yeah, it's, it's nice and lemony. It's very light. Savory cake. So I've got the rolled pavlova, which is a white chocolate mousse, macerated berries, and a miso <laughs> caramel. And it was eight dollars. Sorry, mine's already gone. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. 
You want to try? Switch. Like try to try as well. Mm -hmm. That's a lot sweeter. Woo! That is weird, but it's nice. Right? Yeah. Right. It's wine. Well, what an incredible day that was. So as you saw, we went to Kennedy Space Center for most of the day on a 10 hour tour, uh, which we already talked about, so I won't go over that again. Then we went to Disney Springs and we were gonna get David's quick kind of view of that tour when we were frightened by Taylor and Jackie and then the kind of night has just taken us away. Six of us out tonight, we've had the best time. Honestly, it's been so good. Great company, good drinks and really great food. Then we had a reservation at Wine Bar George at 8.30 p.m. tonight and wow, what a great place that is. David um, went for the wine, of course. He's a big wine lover, so he had some wine. Um, I had two frozen drinks, a Froscato and a Fros... A a Frosgato, I think it was called, and a Frosé, both really nice. I had the Saganaki cheese on fire, that was really cool. Then I had the steak, David had meatballs, we shared the steak, onions and roast potatoes and zucchini, I should say here. Uh, we wouldn't call it zucchini, but now I'm sitting here, I can't remember what we do call it. What do we call it? What's that? Course, yeah, in the UK. Uh, yeah, really nice. There was so much food there. We shared that between four of us. It was great. But yeah, overall, seven out of ten. Only because of the limited menu. The service was good. The food was great. It's a little bit pricey for what it was. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely loved it. Teeth, tits, so, action. So, yeah, as Dan said, we went to Wine Bar George tonight. Um, I guess I just naively assumed it was just going to be a Disney Springs steakhouse kind of place and sort of got in there and was looking at the menu and quickly realised there was like a lot of sharing platters and like charcuterie boards and cheese boards and which was great because I love that kind of stuff and I didn't know that they had that kind of thing in Disney Springs so I'd kind of want to go back and try something else there. Um, it was a really good night. It was great hanging out with Taylor, Jackie, Leanne and Dale and um, Wine Bar George was really nice. Deco was really nice. The uh, food was great. I'd probably agree with Dan and say 7 out of 10 for what it was but I think I'd probably like to go back there again and try something else and see. But yeah, no, it was great, 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 great night. So, super, super, super long day for us. We were up this morning before six, uh, out of the room at about 10 past seven, on the bus at half past seven. It's now quarter to midnight. We were hanging around because there was supposed to be a SpaceX rocket launch now, um, but that's been pushed back another hour. We're not gonna wait up another hour for it because it's already quarter to midnight and we're both super tired. So we're gonna head to bed now. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Completely different day for me. Never been to Kennedy Space Center, that was amazing. Never been to Jock Blinty's Hangar Bar, never been to Wine Bar George, so everything we did today was something new to me and of course to David as well so yeah great day anyway thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this vlog please give us a big thumbs up share it with your friends and also make sure you're subscribed I lost my trailer thought there make sure you're subscribed the little notification bell clicked so you know when this when our videos come out there'll be another vlog next week I'll be more sober hopefully anyway only one thing left to tell you Never go out.